Breakthrough Media. choose their own race, and if the school wishes, parents will be told nothing. Mark Purpura is president of Equality Delaware Foundation, and he joins us today. Mark, thanks for coming on. Hi, Tucker. Thank you for having me. So um, we don't let kids really make any decisions without their parents because their parents are in charge of them. Why would they be encouraged to make a decision this profound without letting their parents know? Well, Tucker, uh, the regulation doesn't encourage children to make any decision. It simply allows them to uh, identify their gender or their race uh, for school records purposes. Uh, the school is permitted under the regulation to seek the permission of parents uh, before they make that change. Um, and, it, and it suggests also that if the uh, school decides to seek the permission of the parents that they consider the health, safety, and well-being of the child before they do that. The sad okay, but reality, wait, but, Tucker, wait, but, but hold on, wait, but the school is not the parents. The teachers didn't give birth to the child, haven't raised the child. How could teachers justify not telling parents under, why are they not required to tell parents immediately? Sure, Tucker. Um, the simple fact is that some parents are uh, simply not going to be supportive of their child and it may endanger the child's safety or well-being to involve that parent uh, um, in that uh, in that uh, who makes that decision? that decision? Who makes that decision? Well, I, the school would make the decision, but I think what's missing here is that um, no. What's missing uh, here is outrage. So let me supply some. The school has okay, no right so to take away parental decision making from parents. The children do not belong to school administrators. They are members of the family from which they came. How dare a school take that prerogative away from parents? Where do they get the right to do Tucker, that? Tucker, they're not taking the prerogative away from parents. Well, obviously they are. First of, first of all, it, it's only in rare circumstances that a school would come to a determination that involving the parent is going to endanger the safety and well-being of the child. But who has we the right to decide that? Hold on, wait, slow down. Who has the right to decide that and where does that right come from? Where does a school well, administrator Tucker, have the right to override parental judgment in the case of a child? Tucker, it's not, a, it's not about overriding parental judgment. Well, of course it's it about, is. It, no, it's about protecting the safety and well-being of that child. Says who on the basis child, of what? Wait, child, hold on. This is it. Hold on, slow down. I'm a parent. Oh, stop. I'm a parent of four. I can tell you the most sacrosanct right you have as a parent is to influence the development of your child. In order to violate that right, you need a court order. But you're saying that a school official can just decide it's not in the child's interest. And I'm asking you where you get the right to violate millennia of sacred tradition and make that decision in place of a parent. Simple question. Where's that right come from? Tucker, the child has a right to dignity and respect in school. And they shouldn't have to choose between that dignity and respect and being unsafe at home being subject to potential physical violence, mental anguish. But somebody has to make worse, the decision about, hold on, somebody has to make the decision, there's a subjective decision to be made about what's best for the child. And that decision is always made by parents unless a court determines that the parents are unable to make the right decision. It takes a no, court Tucker, to do that. Tucker, yes, yes. We, we, send, we send children to schools and, and administrators and teachers make those decisions every day. About what and so, race and sex the child is? Are you joking? No, this Tucker, has never no, been tried in any place in the world. Tucker, and for you to pretend Tucker, it's no big deal and that nobody's rights are getting violated, yes, they are. Parental rights are being ignored because of political extremists, I hate to put you in that category, who think their views are more important than the rights of parents. And I think Tucker, we should at least this acknowledge is, this that. Regulation, this regulation is similar to, uh, to policies that have been implemented across the country in Oregon and Washington and Massachusetts. Oh, going back Washington, like about six months. This has never happened no, in Tucker. human history. We didn't Tucker, used to believe three is... years ago that you could change your sex or your race. So this is all brand new. So at least pay me the compliment of acknowledging this is brand new. This has never it's been tried. It's not brand new. Yes, Tucker, it, it's not brand new. Changing Four your race ago... is, a, is an old thing. Well, how, how, back, how far back does that extend? What, tell Tucker, me the history. Not, is that in British common law? Like, what are you not, talking about? It's not changing your race, Tucker. It's yes, identifying your it. race. 
It's okay. identifying your race. Okay, look, the, we, not, we're not having a biology conversation. That's another segment. But I'm just telling you as a factual matter, no society has ever done that until very, very recently. It's never happened. So at least Tucker, acknowledge this is brand it's happening, new. It's happening in school districts, and it's being implemented seamlessly across school districts across the country. But the rights of parents it's, it's over their own not, children are being violated no, because of activists. And I'm going to stand up and say it. I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. And I think it's fair to say that parents are losing their rights in this over their own children. And I think that that's something we need to think about. And I'm sorry Tucker, you disagree. I think that we, we are on the same page that parental involvement is very important. It's only in very rare circumstances. In but which who makes that decision? And where do they get the right to make that decision? I don't know if you have children, but can I just say, you know, I don't like the way you're parenting. And I think it's really in the child's interest to not let you know about a profound life decision that kid is making. I don't this, think you'd like that. Not, I think this, you'd need a court order is, to do that. This does not prohibit communication between the parent and the child. The school home, hides this from the parent. They have an oblig they're not their children. Those children do not belong to the school. They belong to the family from which they came. I, Tucker, I just wish you would acknowledge that and we could like move from there, but you won't. And you try to bully Tucker, people into going along with it, and I won't be. There, there are plenty of circumstances, Tucker, where okay. uh, school counselors or other yeah. people well, they don't get they don't, in conversations. They, you know, it's not their child. A school counselor doesn't get to decide. We're going to have to stop there. Mark, thank you for coming on. There's much more. We'll be back.